Today I'd like to show you just how easy it is to keep a spray gun clean. This is a copy of a Binks uh, Model 7 and uh, we're just going to go through it real quick and I'm going to show you the important parts, the essential parts to clean. So to begin with, uh, you can take the cup off. And I have these uh, parts loosened up already. So, Okay, so we'll take that cup off. And the parts of the cup that need, obviously the cup, uh, pretty, pretty straightforward, easy to clean. This part, this tube has to be clean. And if you get yourself one of these, this is a paint spray paint gun cleaning kit. It has a lot of brushes in it and things of that nature to help you clean those tubes. So this tube here has to be clean all the way through and on the outside. Then this is a little vent and this little rubber hose actually has to be cleaned all the way through and then these um, let's see if I can, these guys they have to be uh, cleaned inside there too so you have to push maybe a wire through there I actually drill mine out right there so that it can breathe I think they're a little bit too small so I drilled those out so it can really breathe so this tube right here has to be cleaned those little attachments and this tube has to be cleaned alright so we'll set that aside now with the gun, let's just take this off. Okay, this is the basics, the basic gun here. So I usually start by taking the tip off. This is the air nozzle. And you can soak this in thinner and put it in the cup and just make sure that all the holes, just like a carburetor, are cleaned and uh, working properly. Then the fluid nozzle, that guy, he screws right there, screws on and screws off. You can put him in the cup with some thinner and make sure all those are clean. Then uh, this, is, this is the fluid uh, control knob here and we can take him right out. And push this needle right out like that. Alright, so there we have that. And this is the pattern control knob. This goes right here. And usually that doesn't get dirty. So that guy screws right in there. And then that. And then we're just going to take the trigger assembly off. Okay, we'll put him right here. And lastly, we're going to take the air valve out, all of it. And you really don't need to, but just to show you what we have. Alright, so... Let me just make sure that you can see all the parts, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully you can see all the parts real well. Uh, we have the air tip, the fluid nozzle. This is the air inlet or air valve, trigger assembly, the body, head, fluid needle, fluid control knob, and the pattern control assembly. So, to me, the most important thing that you need to be concerned about when you clean a paint gun is the fluid needle, the fluid tip, and the air nozzle. Those are the three most important things to get your gun spraying like it was when it was new. So, let's put this thing back together. To begin with, 
we're going to put a little oil on the needle. And I'm just going to put just a little bit on there and spread it around on there nice. And we can just slip that right in through there. And now this knurled little nut just puts a little, there's a little packing, maybe a little nylon washer in there. When you turn it tight, it puts a little bit of tightness on the needle. Okay? Too loose, and there's a little bit of an air leak. Then we're just going to put our fluid control knob on there. We'll just screw that in a little bit. Then we're just going to put this guy in here. And I'm going to screw him in there. And then the next thing we'll do is, and I'll tighten up all these nuts afterwards. We're going to put the fluid tip on there. And the air nozzle. Okay, now all we're left with is the air valve. And it just goes right in there. Okay, and then lastly, the trigger assembly. And it just slides up there like that. Drop the, this ain't the original nut and bolt, but works. Okay, and there you have it. So I'm going to put the cup back together and put it back onto the, the gun, and then I'm going to show you how nicely it works after being cleaned. So once you have it all back together, there's one last step that I do, and I take my finger and run it across the tip here while spraying. So we're just going to go like that, and that sort of back flushes the whole gun. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how very easy it is to maintain and keep your, your spray equip, equipment clean. And if you did, please consider subscribing to the channel so you can get my latest videos.